Hello, welcome to another video. I'm back out in the Dangler. Again, looking, searching for that elusive full night's kip. And it's a bit of a different one this time because I am, uh, as you can see over there, another hammock there. And you'll maybe hear some, some grunting noises in the background and some wood being prepped. <laughs> and that's my friend, James, AKA James Butler, who did my tattoo. Uh, there's a story about that. I'll quickly tell you now. He uh, he did my tattoo, which was like a, a nod to Whitby and to my granddad, who had his um, hiking boots put on his coffin right at the end, and who I did the coast to coast in memory of. So I got a sort of commemorative tattoo, and James did it. And then at the end, he just said, "Don't pay me. Just chuck hundred quid into your just giving page for for calm." So I did so. Big up James for that. I'll leave his link below. He's a great tattoo artist and a great artist and a great person in general. So just go and, go and have a look if you like tattoos and stuff. And so I said, yeah, come out, let's go. He's got a hammock. I said, let's go and have a dangle. When you go out with someone for the first time, you don't want to be pointing a camera in their face and vibing them out. So there won't be a lot of that sort of stuff going on, but I've got a fire going, as you can see. We're in a beautiful area. I'll let, you, I'll let you have a little look around my setup for all you setup lovers. Look at that. <laughs> Are you going to pull your finger out? Oh, you can't <laughs> swear. You can't <laughs> swear. You've got, we've got to keep the F-bombs to a minimum. To a minimum? He's just said, I'm going to pull my finger out. I think he's joking because I don't know how it works. There you go. <laughs> don't forget, I get the final say in the edit room. <laughs> Right, I'm in the DD Frontline Hammock with my DD Superlight Tarp, which I've just folded back over itself so I can have a look up at the canopy and check stuff out on the morning. And then if it rains, you just get out and just fold that off over, sorry, and peg it out. In. No, no, keep going, mate. It's a working campsite. It's fine. The internals, what we've got. The little, little map. Rab Neutrino 600, the best sleeping bag I've ever had because I made it, helped make it. I've got the Trekology, come here, come closer, come closer. I've got the Trekology pillow, which I'm still using and loving it, and the uh, Uberlite Thermarest. That's it, and then my little lantern that I've got on my ridge line there, which doubles up as a charger as well. And that's me, it's pretty basic really. Pretty basic, but good to be out in Dangler again. And I think Mr. Butler's got same going on. He's also got an under blanket, which is perfect because when you're in a, a hammock, everything compresses and so you get cold from underneath you. Whereas this, you don't touch it, so it keeps a pocket of warm air underneath you. And, uh, and does trick, I've used them and they are dandy to keep your back warm. Ow. Look at that shiny new Zebra Billy, 16 centimetre, and then plastic clips might not last. Might have to take them off. Definitely take them off because uh, we melted last ones on my brothers. Yeah. Oh, what's that? Ooh, lovely bit of wildlife. Mr. Butler's got some Tubby Toms as well, repping. That's a good one, is that? And he's got some seasoning. Or drugs, I don't know. Salt and pepper, mate. I'm going to christen it. Banking. It's going to get so christened. Do you want to take these clips off? Yeah. We're going to have onion, garlic, taties, parsnip, carrot, and then we've got some Aberdeen Angus stewing steak to go in there, and a bottle of Theakston's Old Peculiar. Varying sizes, shall Yeah, we? Like definitely. Get a bit of texture. Yeah, that's it, it mate. Some bits will just melt a niche and some bits will be chunky and earthy. Yeah. We're going to get a flavour of this stump in there, that's important. That's important this time of year. How, How much need... garlic are we wanting in here? All of it. All of it? No, well, all of it. <laughs> no, no, all of it. It has to be all of it, doesn't it? You don't want to take it home. I feel like the town mouse and the country mouse. It's just, uh, obviously all major skins can go, but then... Meat, beer, water, tomatoes. Oh yeah, tomatoes. 
shallot, isn't it? No shallots, we're just onions. Hey! <laughs> you know? Do this slow motion, just yeah. falling out like I'm an ass. Plum. <laughs> <laughs> like a big meaty mudslide. There you go. There you go, let's lubricate this meaty mudslide. Do it. Look at that. Do, 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 do. Full bottle. Not messing. Tin of tomatoes. Right. <laughs> Look at that. Already, can you see? Can you tell what it is? <laughs> oh! She's reduced like no one's business. Look at that. It's just falling apart. Let me just. Let me just grab a bit of this meat. In the part, that's beautiful. It smells good, doesn't it? It smells amazing. Onion, carrot, tatas. Big tatas. Still kept its shit together. And meat. And also, let's get some of this juice. Let's get some juice on. You know what, if you were doing it for a, like a photo shoot, you'd have a little bit of something green on top just to end it with, wouldn't you? There you go. Oh, hey, look. There you go, look. <laughs> Lovely. There you go. Are there any Michelin stars out tonight? <laughs> <laughs> hey. We're there. Is there any Michelin stars out? Because look at you. Aberdeen Angus beef, root vegetable, all peculiar, garlic, the lot. Bit of Tubby Toms. Bit of Tubby Toms. A bit of S and P. So that salt and pepper. Thanks for coming. Cheers. There we are. Mm. You can see me. It was. I didn't have the patience. I've stuck in already. He's gone straight in. So good. Look at that. I don't know if you can see, but if you could smell it, it smells delicious. I'm going straight in with a bit of meat. I've right. done the carrot already. I'm going for the Go the in. old Aberdeen. Oh, that's Aber that's Oh my God. Mm. Oh no, that's tender. So good. <laughs> that's, that's tender. Mm. Mm. Oh my god. That's good. Mm. That's been cooking for about three hours. More, even more maybe. Oh, delicious. Let's have a look. And it's our. Closer to four. About three and a half. Three and a half to four hours cooked stew. Old peculiar ale, shout out Theakstons. Mm. Taties have held their own. All the root veg, we cut it thick as well, mix it up. Absolutely stunning. The sweet bits are sweet. The sweet bits are sweet. Savory also, bits are savory. Yeah, and shout out to me, Tom. Let's cheers it. With our, <laughs> let's cheers it with our forks. Mm. Yeah, let's have, a, let's have a, a mouthful. Oh! And what? Absent Ooh. friends. <laughs> Absent friends. Mm. Fucking friends. Oi! Ah. Lovely, that was a lovely scene. Let's do it again. I ruined it. Take two. Let's get me some meat. Mm. Get some meat, mate. Let's toast some meat and a carrot. Something for everyone. Absent friends. Absent friends. <laughs> mm. mm mm mm. Right. Wholesome. Well, this is wholesome, innit? A little bit of this, which my dad got me for my birthday, which is this whiskey. Shout out my dad. And we're going to finish this cheers, stew. Here's his dad. Yeah, cheers. Here's his dad. Absent dads. <laughs> hey. Absent dads. Potatoes. Uh, cheers. Mm. It's as nice as you, uh, as you think it would be. We're going to eat this stew sit around the fire and maybe ogle a few stars through this canopy uh, cut to the music
go, LNT. Fire's all squared away. It was good to wake up in Dangler again. Looking at that, look at that, I'll give you a view what I had, there you go. Lovely to be camping with Mr Butler, give us a wave. Hello, goodbye. Mr Butler, could you wave? He's just too busy putting his axe away, look. <laughs> give us a wave. There he is, look, yeah. Uh, I don't know if this is a normal standalone video, if it is, Links below to Alt Gubbins. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye for now.